Hi, my name is Mr. Exim and welcome to my EdTech channel where I show you how to get the most out of technology in the classroom. Now this video shows you how to start using Microsoft Teams with a class. It will cover the basics of getting it set up and navigating the different tabs. Let's get started. create your team it's simple there's a button at the top right here join or create team if you are viewing your teams in the list uh, view which looks like this then you'll notice the button has moved down here to the bottom left join or create team but when you're ready you click that button and you get the window that comes up here that says create team or join with a team code I'll talk about that towards the end of the video but now we're going to create a team and we've got four types of team available now today we're going to create a class team because we want one where we can set actual homework assignments we want to be able to have discussions and use the full features of having an actual uh, class there these are the ones in the middle of our staff having staff teams to collaborate and, and plan and this one at the end is for extracurricular groups where you're not necessarily setting homework and things like that but you want a space where you can communicate and meet virtually if you need to so we're going to click class okay i'm going to give it a name best to use a year group and subject to help So I would actually skip this step for now. I think it's great to get your class team all set up looking how you want and populated with information before you add the students in. So I'm going to click skip. Okay, and here we go. I'm straight in. So I can, uh, this is the main general channel. As you can see here, it says general. I can add more channels here by clicking on the little three dots next to the title of the team and clicking add channel. So maybe I'm gonna add a channel for uh, coursework or maybe I'm gonna uh, add a channel for homework information where I'm gonna post assignments to later on. So you can add more channels there. Now under the general channel is where you'll find most of the information. I've got, this is where I can have conversation, okay? To be able to sort of chat with the set. If I want to add class materials, that will take me to my files tab. Now in the files tab, there is a folder in here called class materials. Now that folder is just for read only files. I can drag and drop, I can click upload, uh, and I can choose directly from my computer or from OneDrive, okay? Uh, or I could even just create a blank document straight from within here. I don't even need to leave Teams to make a document. Back in the general, if I add something into this area here, then you'll find that uh, it's not read-only, it's editable by the whole team. I've got my class notebook. Now, this is a full class notebook with all of the functionality you get in class notebook, um, but it's set within the team, so it's easy to, for them to find, uh, and everything works nice and smoothly in there alongside their homework, etc. I'm not going to set one up now. I'll show you that in a separate video. Assignments, again, I'll show you how to set an assignment in a separate video, but that's where you do it here. And you've also got grades. When you've marked assignments, you'll get a grade book in here showing you all your grades for all the different assignments you've set. And the plus is where you can add even more tabs. You can add all sorts of things, Quizlet, YouTube, uh, or other apps. I'm actually gonna click Insights, and I would uh, encourage you to add Insights to all your classes. It's not something the students will see, it's something you'll just see as the teacher. It will give you some really interesting analytics into the class and how they're accessing um, all the information on here and the assignments and all of that kind of stuff. You can get some really good, useful uh, data. So I'll be making more, some more specific videos on how to use your class notebook, like I said, how to do assignments, um, how to uh, use your files. And also up here at the top, you'll see the meet option. I'll make a separate video on that as well. But if you wanted to have a quick meeting with your class, you can just click meet now and you'll instantly start a meeting with there. You can have up to 49 of uh, students on the screen at one time. Uh, or if you wanted to schedule a meeting for a later time or a live lesson uh, or a lesson for some students who are absent, you can schedule that in there and it will go into your calendar and it will go into their calendar as well. But again, I'll make a separate video on that. So we haven't actually added any students. So if you only need to add, let's say, 20, 30 students, then it's probably easiest to just do them one by one by uh, back going back into the student tab. I'll show you that. If you wanted to add, let's say, more than that, 
or maybe even if you just had 30, you might want to do it this way. But let's say you wanted to add, I don't know, um, a, a group, a big pastoral group, or maybe you're ahead of year or something like that, and you, you're making quite a big team. You can just get a code for the whole group, okay? So if I go to three dots here and go to manage team and go to settings, then I can get something called the team code. Here it is, I click generate and it gives me this team code and I can copy that and put that in an email and uh, to that group and then they can just add that in on their team to be able to join it. So if I go to the student view, okay, um, you'll see that they have a, a place to enter a code to join a team. You could just add your students one by one, that's foolproof, They've all, you know they're all there. To do that, you click on the three dots and you go add member and this is I'm back to this window now where I can add students and I can add teachers. I would suggest adding students one by one. I wouldn't use a whole group class code in case it hasn't been synced or updated. So add students one by one. It doesn't take that much longer and it's more foolproof. So I'm going to add this student here. There we go. They're now in my class. And if I look, if I sign in as that student, okay, and go to activity, it'll say, look, you've been added to this class. Here it is. And if I go to their teams, here is that class, okay? And they can see the conversation, they can see the channels, they can see the files, they can see their class notebook, okay? They can see the assignment, any assignments I've set them, uh, and they can see uh, grades as well, okay? From any work that has been marked, it's all in one place. So hopefully that's enough to get you started with your classes on Teams. I have made detailed videos to explain the full features of OneNote, assignments, meetings, and files within your class team, so do check them out on my channel. For now though, I hope that was useful, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon. See you next time.